Yo, what's happening, people? The video you're about to watch are highlights from my live stream over on twitch.tv forward slash peerly9. Make sure you go over there and don't forget to follow and turn on your notifications. I hope you enjoy this video. Peace. Let's go, baby. Full of vintage supercars, Bill Gates's super-sized $127 million mansion in Medina, Washington. Bro, 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 hold on. <laughs> he's worth 120 yeah he's worth 127 billion as of 2021 right the third richest man in the world or richest person in the world after obviously jeff bezos and elon musk his gaff is worth 127 million bro his house isn't even worth, isn't even worth 1% of his total net worth. Do you know how crazy that is? When we're out here struggling to get mortgages and stuff, like you're, <laughs> you get onto the property ladder and that is your net worth. This guy, that's crazy. You would have think he would have bought out a little bit more than 127 mil, just a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? Fuses billionaire luxury with high technology at the heart of Gates's working life. Built from the ground up to match Gates's exacting requirements, the Microsoft mogul took seven years to get things right. He spent time in everything from shipping in tropical sand for a private beach to putting a pair of hidden hideaways in his library. Oh, Join us as these. we explore the kind of property Scrooge McDuck would be proud of. Let's start with the basics. Gates bought the land in Medina way back in 1988. Even then, at the age of 32, he was already noted for his full-on attitude to work. He's said to have personally checked every line of code Microsoft released in the early days. That's it's crazy. It's surprising, perhaps, that he took an equally hands-on approach to ensuring his house lived up to his luxurious standards and featured That's plenty of technical wizardry. Gates calls his property, located in the Spent Seattle suburb of Medina, Xanadu 2.0. It's a second to the fictional home of Charles Foster Kane, the media tycoon and title character in the iconic 1940s movie Citizen Kane. The completed house extends to 66,000 square feet, giving the property a total floor area around 10% bigger than an American football field. And that's only the main building. In all that space, Gates has seven luxurious bedrooms and... Obviously, if you own a place like this, you don't clean it yourself. Well, if you've got the money like this, you don't clean it yourself anyway. But like, he must only occupy like a few rooms, which will be like his bedroom, his obviously main bathroom or ensuite, whatever bathroom he uses, where he gets changed. I don't know if that's his bedroom, his bathroom or or like a, uh, a walk-in wardrobe, which I'd assume it would be. Um, plus, obviously, what his wife occupies, she probably has her own bathroom and her own... Um, thingy wardrobe and stuff but apart from them kitchen they probably don't go in they probably have their own chef probably go in there for snacks and stuff maybe like an office that you use maybe a gym maybe and then like i don't know like a living room cinema room like a, those kind of things bro this probably has like 30 40 50 rooms and you're probably occupying like 10 percent. you know what i mean <laughs> Yeah, you're right. You're right, CK Singleton. A bedroom for every day of the week. <laughs> but, I mean, is that just too much space? Like, I don't know. And an incredible know. 24... I want a nice house, but... In all that space, Gates has seven luxurious bedrooms and an incredible... That's actually not too extreme. 24 bathrooms. As well as having a long stretch of lake shoreline, the whole property is built Crazy. into the side of a hill to help reduce heat loss. Amongst its main features are a library complete with two cartoon-like hidden entrances, a 60-foot swimming pool with indoor and outdoor elements, a tennis court, a trampoline room, and a banquet hall big enough to host 200 guests. <laughs> I bet he has some. I bet he has some dinners in there with some highly important people, bro. I bet he always has little shindigs and stuff, even during COVID. But he's balling out. Look at him. He's playing tennis and that, man. The trampoline like room, though, is that for his like, grandkids and that? A 60-foot swimming pool with indoor and outdoor elements, a tennis court, a trampoline room. 
<laughs> that can't be the actual one, surely. And a banquet hall big enough to host 200 guests. That banquet hall can do business and casual, with a 22-foot wide screen for presentations, as well as a 6-foot wide limestone fireplace nice. to set a more relaxed ambience. A party with 200 guests would require a whole lot of food, of course, so Zenit... Yeah, of course, of course. The price is more in the features than anything else, 100%. In the features and location, of course, as well. Do 2.0 features six separate kitchens, enough to ensure that whichever part of the house is hosting any kind of get together, there will always be a kitchen nearby. When it comes to work, or right. Wait, 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 I just missed what you said. Any kind of get together, there will always be kitchens, enough to ensure six that. We six separate kitchens, man. That's, that's, that's crazy. Whichever part of the house. That's what I mean. He's almost got more kitchen than bedrooms. House is hosting any kind of get together. There will always be a kitchen nearby. When it comes to work or writing large checks for his foundation, Gates can settle down in that two story library, which comes complete with a domed roof and two sliding bookshelves. Amongst the extensive stock of text on Gates' ornate shelves is Leonardo da Vinci's Codex Leicester, a one-of-a-kind 16th century notebook, which cost over $30 million at auction. Jesus. One of those sliding bookshelves hides a bar. Terraces at the top of the property provide views across the lake to Seattle and down to the Lake Terrace. Lovely. And Gates' beach, made from sand shipped in annually from the Caribbean island of... Shipped in annually? Not even just shipped in, like, as a one-off. <laughs> Like, shipped in annually, you know. You know how crazy that is. St. Lucia. Naturally, one of Silicon Valley's most successful icons also crams a huge amount of technology into his not-so-humble abode. On arrival, guests are provided with a connection... Bro, is that like the, That's the entrance to his own house. Into his that not so bro, how can you have a receptionist in your own yard, bro? Like, that can't be... That got, that's got to be his offices. I mean... That's crazy. How can you have a receptionist in your own yard? Like your mum pops in and she has to wait until you call her up. <laughs> These most successful icons also crams a huge amount of technology into his not so humble abode. On arrival, guests are provided with a connection to the house's numerous sensors. This comes in the form of a programmable pin that can be attached to visitors' clothes or function through a mobile phone. What? As guests move around the vast space, built-in sensors interact with the technology and adjust the house's environment to match preferences. By being linked up to the building, guests can have their choice of music, like Bro, 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 bro. They okay, so not only, yeah, not only his yard, his yard has a... His yard, bruv. Bill Gates' yard, right? You walk in, he has a receptionist to his own house, bro. But not only that, when you go into his house, whether you're a guest or family or whatever, you register in, you register, and basically he can track you around his own yard. Do you know how mad that is? Do you know how mad that is, bro? Like, and, and then he's tracking you, so he knows where you are. If something goes missing in what room at a certain time, bro, he knows that's you. And also, you go into that room and it's going to play your preferences. It's going to, you can go into a room and it's going to have the light that you like and, and the music you like, the heat and all that. Uh, what's happening, Frappers? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, we've just been reacting to the most expensive stuff, basically, man. And, and um, we've done like the top 10 things. And now we're doing, um, yeah, we're just having a review of, of Bill Gates' $127 million mansion which is actually only 0.1 percent worth of his net worth of 2021 so yeah man there's an ad in three seconds so lighting and even ready. temperature follow them around the mansion so when you walk around as well it that is crazy this is his yard mate his yard has his yard has a receptionist seven bedrooms six kitchens conference room two tiered library like are you mad? Will and said to be able to sense who is walking on them. And if you're watching a TV show yeah. and decide, the floors are even said to be able to sense who is walking on them. No, and that's if you're mad. watching a TV show. That's that's too mad. I couldn't go to his yard. I couldn't go to his yard, bro. What? How can his floors sensor by the way you step and the weight and the pressure that the floors know? Who's stepping on the floor at that certain time, bro, bro? <laughs> you, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll beg someone. Uh, 
I want to. I am. No, show and decide not. to take a stroll, you might find the show follows you around the house's different TV screens. If you receive a phone call, the house, already knowing your location, will direct it to you, causing only the nearest phone to ring. The sense so basically, Bill Gates has got phones just dotted around the yard. So then when you walk past, when you walk past his telephone, yeah, when you walk past the telephone and it bells, you know Bill Gates is ringing you for saying. Bill Gates is just in his library like, yeah, like one of the waitress might be walking up. Oh yeah, imagine working here, yeah? Imagine being like a like the receptionist and you know obviously when everyone's got an office job or whatever you creep off to the bathroom for 45 minutes or an hour just to you know what I mean just to have a break like on top of his actual break um do you know how mad that is like he will know how long you're actually shitting for like rule talk. He will know that you're taking... He'll, he'll take that off your... Bill, he won't even tell you. He'll just take that off your wage slip, bro. But like, you, you spent a, you spent seven hours this week on the toilet, bro. I'm taking that, that off your pay slip. Sensors aren't just used for tech, though. They also make a great security system with the floors logging the movements of everyone on the property, known or unknown. That's mad. The music side of things is particularly smart. Gates had tiny speakers hidden behind the house's wallpaper in every room. Impressive today, but revolutionary when the system was introduced. This means sound is delivered throughout without impacting the house's design. And the system is so extensive, you can even listen underwater in the swimming pool. As you'd expect, there's also a sauna, a steam room and a fitness room. That's a fitness room. That's a fitness room. Well, we, we reacted to that, that, that yacht, bro, that 140 million pound yacht. Yeah, and it had a cross trainer. It had a cross trainer, bro. Uh, a running machine, and one set, one set of uh, cables. This has got a bench. This has got wait, bro. What Bill Gates is buff like that, bro? That's mad. And and plus, look, this has got an extra floor for the for the running machine and for the cardio as well. And they can, you know what I'm saying, mate? I wonder if people pay to use his membership. But these family like. For decoration, maybe eight, this is just example of pictures, but eight thousand dollars worth of screens hang around the house, showing a digital rotation of different artwork to suit mood and. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can even listen underwater oh, in the swim. For oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Reset, reset, reset. The yacht was top left only. Top left. We're talking just this square. You see here, here. That was the. <laughs> For decoration, different artwork to suit mood and taste. Naturally, you can also pick your own display, though not all the art in Xanadu 2.0 is digital. Gates's personal collection is worth roughly the same as his house and includes Leonardo da Vinci originals. Though it's I've seen this, I've seen this, but I've seen that he's at, he, that he owns these before. He kept out of view. As for the extensive grounds of Xanadu 2.0, there's plenty to explore there too. The design of the property includes an artificial stream. Wait, There's wait, plenty wait. to explore there too. The design of So that's the design of his property. That's bad. Look at that staircase. You could do the rocky run up that. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, this is crazy. What? One of the property includes an artificial stream stocked with salmon and trout. The stream has become a feature, but was created in part because of concerns that the sheer volume of water running off the sizable property might become dangerous during a torrent. A maple tree in the garden is said to be a particular favourite of the Microsoft man and is carefully monitored electronically to ensure it's well watered. There's also a separate property on the grounds for guests stretching to 1,900 square feet bro, in its own room. Bro, he's got... Look, he's got all that space, seven rooms and all that, but he still has a separate property for guests. So who's using them seven bedrooms? Like, seriously, who's using the seven bedrooms? What? I, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually is using each one for each, different days of the week. Like, I wouldn't be surprised because why do you need all them bedrooms if you're, you're hosting your guests in a separate guest house? Right. Keep exploring that maze-like landscape and you'll also find that imported beach, a series of garages that can fit a total of 23 different cars, Makes and a sense. home cinema Standard. complete with its own popcorn maker. 
Gates is famously a Porsche lover and prefers luxury classics to modern day supercars. His collection of the high end German brand is known. Jeez, look at those, bro. Known to include the 911, 959, 930, and Taycan models. Also occupying that extensive garage is a classic Ferrari 348, the final model developed by Enzo Ferrari himself before his death. Not right. everything is flash, though. In his final months working day-to-day -day at Microsoft, Gates regularly arrived in a 2008 Ford Focus. The best of Gates... Bro, is that what the Ford Focuses look like? At Microsoft, I am, I am... Gates regularly arrived in a 2000... That's what a Ford Focus looks like out in America. Wow, that is mad. Why do they design them different for different countries? I don't get that, really. Nate Ford Focus. The best of Gates series of garages is Gonna tucked Opal. underground, a concrete bunker that can host 10 luxury sports cars. His $20 million private jet is kept elsewhere. The people behind Xanadu 2.0, which is created in a style known as Pacific Lodge, are architectural practices Boland Sawinski Jackson and Cutler Anderson Architects. <laughs> Boland Sawinski Jackson in particular are known for their work on sustainable buildings and in particular for creating a host of buildings for Microsoft rivals Apple and also designing Seattle City Hall and the Pixar headquarters. It took over 300 construction workers including... See look you can even tell that's the same building so he's had that as well built from scratch basically he's had that built to his like to what he's wanted it basically that, that's of of course, if you're going to pay that much anyway, you're expecting to have it, you know, you know, off plan basically. Like you can do that for a two hundred grand flat and a three hundred and fifty grand house. So of course, you're going to do it for a hundred twenty seven million dollar dollar mansion, but including one hundred electricians simply he, to set up. If he paid one hundred twenty seven million dollars for that, All right? Let's, let let me quickly Google something. When did um? Bill Gates build his home. So he built it, all right? He purchased, all right, we're going to show you. He purchased the lot, the, like the land for, in 1988 for two mil. He spent 63 mil to create the house. This is back in 2018. So is the value the value of the house in 2018. So this is this video was uploaded a few days ago. Is the value of the house 127 million dollars in today's value or in 2018? Like right, so, the last time it was valued, or is that how much he spent on it in total? Because it says he spent 63 million dollars, but that was you got to think that was back in 1988. So he's probably added features and stuff, and and with like inflation and stuff over the last 30 years or 35 years. <clears throat> he's, it, if he spent 63 million initially he's obviously spent another like double that to now um and if 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 so how much do you do you in the chat think think the house is value today like how much do you think knowing that it's bill gates's house as well up the digital extras to put together the property the main material used in construction is 500-year-old Douglas fir trees, and the total value of the house means the annual property tax alone is over one million dollars. The local name. Hey, pan a million dollars in tax a year just on a house. Neighborhood Medina isn't exactly run of the mill either. Gates's neighbors include Jeff Bezos' former wife, author Mackenzie Bezos. You reckon he slips around there on a? <laughs> Do you reckon he slips around there on a? On a late Wednesday night on a Drake flex. <laughs> as well as former Seattle Supersonics <laughs> basketball Hall of Famer Jack Sigma, Costco co-founder Jeffrey Brotman, and Jeez. several of Microsoft. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All basketball I can say. Hall of Famer Jack All Sigma, Costco co-founder Jeffrey Brotman. Jeffrey Brotman. Oh yeah, big props to that guy because Costco's not uh, That's a banging place, man. If you know, you know. Brotman and several of Microsoft's current and former top executives. That's kind of crazy, man. How much you reckon the value is? 200k? Uh, 200 mil? Or more? It's a hard one to call, right? right. Just 3,000 people live in Medina, and the area's high prices are notorious even by the standards of this wealthy area of Washington State. 
Of course, as beautiful as Gates' construction is, something so vast and exuberant is always going to be mocked a little along the way. A 1997 Dilbert column poked fun, for example, by having the cartoon character forced to work at the house after he failed to read a Microsoft user agreement in full. Fellow billionaire Warren Buffett once claimed to have broken his toe at Xanadu and joked, Bro, <laughs> these two geezers, man, these two geezers just standing next to each other, like, just owning, like, 90% of the, like, not now, but at one point, just literally owning the majority of the world's wealth. On paper, anyway, at least. Crazy, man about pursuing a lawsuit against Gates. Gates himself has acknowledged that the house is the most extravagant thing he's spent his money on. I have a nice house. It includes a trampoline room, which seems kind of over the top, but my kids love using it to work off their excess energy. He told my kids, wait, 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 wait. He said his children, his children use the trampoline room to burn off excess energy, okay? Okay. So one of his children is, or one of his child, but his child, his daughter, he's got a daughter that's 24. All right, this is one of his daughters. He's now 24. So I mean, if she's, she was probably born, yeah, she was born and brought up in that gaff, so that makes sense. Another daughter of his. I mean, they're low key fire. She's a. I mean, she's not fire. She's just a, a good looking girl. I mean, Jennifer's fire, twenty four year old. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's what I said. Um, and then Rory. So he's twenty one. They're all fairly young, man. Like I'm older than all three of them. And how much is how old is Bill Gates? Yeah, so he's like sixty five, and his oldest is twenty four. That's mad. So he had his first kid at 41. Smart guy. Although Reddit asked me anything in 2018. I'm not sure how guilty I should feel about being in a great house, he added, but did go on to add that the success and happiness of his children... Oh, yeah, imagine, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, imagine bagging one of Bill Gates' daughter, though. You know, you're just set. You're set, bro. <laughs> you're set. You deep it. You're set and regular exercise are even more important to his happiness. To be fair to Gates, even with its monstrous valuation of over $100 million, the house has actually gained value on what he spent on it. It also go. represents only about 0.1% of his total net worth. For all its stature, he could, if he worked out already, wanted to afford far more. Want to see for yourself in person? While you can glimpse Gates' mansion from Lake Washington, it's carefully hidden behind a line of trees that ensure only the odd angled rooftop is visible from the water. If you want a better look, you're not the only one. Gates has auctioned tours of the house for charity in the past, with one of his own Microsoft employees reportedly once paying $35,000 just for a glance inside. Of course, Xanadu 2.0 isn't Gates' only property. Amongst That's his portfolio, mad. there's also the small matter of a 400-acre, $25 million private island in Belize, in case he should need a little... Yep, yeah, they probably do now, yeah. Yeah, they probably do have their own houses now, yeah. Something right. special on the side. For all its extensive luxury and high technology, what surprised us most about Gates's house, though, is that he dedicated that special high-ceiling room entirely to trampolining. Long rumoured, the trampoline room was often dismissed as an urban legend, until Gates confirmed its existence in an interview a few years ago. We all have our quirks. Well, he so, might just been the on a wind-up though, man. Like I feel like he could have been on a wind-up. Like, I feel like he's like quite a high-class troll. Gates to play with, what would you add to make Xenadu 2.0 even more perfect? An artificial ski slope, piranha-filled fish tanks for walls, rooms that transform at the press of a button. Tell us just how far you'd take things down in the comments. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. How far would you lot take it? Nah. I mean, when you got that much money, I think shit just gets boring. No?